Hello students, you are all welcome from the DVS Deshiya Vidya Shala Samiti Shumoga for the second year PUC biology practicals. And also from our college DVS PU Independent College. See, we are going to learn the practicals through video classes. You already know well, I am Lakshmi Devi R, Department of Biology. Okay, now the practical number six, exercise 10. The main aim of the experiment is study of ecological adaptation in plants. See, when we are going to see the plants, there are different varieties of plants we will come across. Based on their habitat, we are going to classify the plants in different ways. Either it may be a mesophytes, hydrophytes, xerophytes, lithophytes, etc. See, when we observe all these plants, they are, uh, they are adapted in such a way to overcome from the adverse condition or the unfavorable condition. See, here also we are going to learn some of the plants which exhibits the xeric adaptations and as well as the hydric adaptations. These two are the main common adaptations that can be seen in the plants as well as in the animals too that we will learn later. See, that is study of ecological adaptation in plants. The first one, xeric adaptation that can be very commonly observed in case of Opuntia. See, we, you already know about the Opuntia, it is uh, now uh, Kannadali, the vernacular name in Kannada that is Papas Kalliantil Heli Karitev. I think you have observed the Opuntia. See, when we observe the Opuntia, the stem is modified into green colored structure which is dorsiventrally flattened and green in color. Because of its green in color, it can perform the function of the leaf. The stem performs the function of the leaf. The leaves are modified into spines to check the rate of transpiration. See here, the stem is modified into the leaf, the leaves are modified into spines to check the rate of transpiration to conserve the water. The main purpose of modification that is found in Opuntia is to conserve water. See when we observe the xeric adaptation, it is modified for the conservation of water. Here morphological and anatomical uh, modification what we are going to see here is the leaves are few or absent or represented by spines. Leaf yav tara irathe ente le helidre. A male gade illa papas kalli na niu nori dre. Male gade illa mool irathe. A spines anta na vain kari teve. That is those are the leaves. In some cases the stem is flattened. Flattened andre eridu kade ke kela onme chapute agirathe de. Hagagi dorsi ventrally flattened anta kari teve. And it is leaf like green and it can perform the function of photosynthesis. See here you will find the open shea, the pictorial representation. See xeric adaptation to conserve water is always the example for that is open shea. See and done. See here also the another plant what we are going to learn in the xeric adaptation is the nerium. Nerium anta helidre kanagle gida anta helteve. See, I think you have seen this nerium plant, but you are unable to identify it as a nerium plant. See, here the prevention of loss of water from the plant body. The leaf is modified in such a way to prevent the loss of water from the plant. See what are all the modifications that can be seen in the nerium. See when we observe the nerium, there is a presence of, see when we take a transfer section of the leaf, we will find 
both the spongy parenchyma and palisite parenchyma. See when we observe the stomata, here there is a special type of stomata, we call it as the sunken stomata. See how the sunken stomata anta helidre. So this is the layer, lower epidermis. See wherever the stomata that can be seen there, there is a cavity that can be seen here. This constitute the sunken stomata. So this is considered as the sunken stomata. Here you will find the multicellular hairs. Lella multicellular hairs birthe. So this is the epidermal layer, this is epidermal layer, this is the sunken stoma. See when we are going to see this <coughs> and there is a presence of thick cuticle, you will find a thick cuticle that can be seen here. So this is the plant nerium, see this plant nodidiranth ankondidini. This is the nerium. This exhibits a xeric adaptation. The plant and it is are until held there. Xeric adaptation to prevent the excess of loss of water from the plant body. And this is the open shear. This is open shear. This open shear is any day. This green color in kind side that is the stem. The leaves are modified into spines. Leaves are spines are modified. So, this plant. This is Opuntia and then this is Nerium. These two plants are adapted for really xeric adaptation to conserve water. Water na conserve madli ke, adu xeric adaptation na exhibit madatte. Next, hydric adaptation. We will find the hydric adaptation. This yeah, hydric adaptation and the held by Kadre now. The most common example what we are going to learn here is the icarnia. Common agi water high synth and the heli karitewe. Igagle theory class ali kaltiritira terror of Bengal and the heli. See, when we are going to see this icornia, buoyancy mate gaseous circulation gaili adaptation agi. What are all the morphological and anatomical features we are going to find here? or petioles are modified into air pockets. But the petiole is not there, sole is not there, we call it as the air pockets. Then now air pockets until here, carry it away. And there we are going to find the aeran kaima. Ali, kandavartangata tissue and aeran kaima. And the leaf blade is waxy with thin cuticle. See leaf blade and leaf surface in the lamina and the encarite when a leaf blade and the health away. Ali on the waxy layer mate on the thin cuticle look and birthday. See parenchymatous tissue of stem roots petioles and leaves modified into erenchyma in the form of air channels. So, this is the icornia. See when we observe the plant, see this is the plant icornia. In the icornia, we are going to find the erenchyma, presence of air filled parenchyma cells are regarded as the erenchyma. Other than now, erenchyma and the heli karitewe. Ega erenchyma and the helbe kadreili. Nodi, when you are going to look, look at this very carefully you will find the swollen petiole. This petiole is swollen, see here you can make out. And in this we will find 
the air filled parenchyma that is the aerenchyma it plays an important role in gaseous circulation and it also plays an important role in the flotation of the plant body what we used to consider it as the buoyancy that is it usually floats on the surface of the water neevu idanna kere alli nodirbodu alla kolla anta naave karitave alli usually one plant na hakiteve andre after few days you will find entire pond is covered by this icornia plant it's a terror of bengal anta karitave anta helidene so hagagi ili air filled parenchyma ide so air irodrinda ali gaseous circulation ge help aagutade jothege air enchyma irodrinda it helps in the flotation of the plant body nodi eradu plants u navu xeric adaptation ali kaliteve ondu plant u hydric adaptation ali ekandre there are number of plants will be there which exhibits ecological adaptations sakashtu plants ide ಅವು ಇಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಸೊ ಒಪನ್ಶಿಯಾ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೀರಿಯಮ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಲಿ ಇದು ನೋಡಿರ್ತೀರ ಬಟ್ ಕಣಗಳೇ ಗಿಡ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತು ನೀರಿಯಮ್ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನೀರಿಯಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಕಮ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರೀತೇವೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಕಾರ್ನಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಐಸಿಂತ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಈ ವಾಟರ್ ಐಸಿಂತ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಹೈಡ್ರಿಕ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೇಷನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಅಪಂಶಿಯ ಮತ್ತು ನೀರಿಯಮು ಝೀರಿಕ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೇಷನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ